Welcome, everybody. Uh, today, I'm really delighted and excited to announce the new head coach of Arsenal Football Club as Unai Emery. Uh, I know that came as a bit of a surprise, and perhaps there were one or two rewrites necessary. But as I said at the beginning of the process, um, those who know won't speak, and those who speak won't know. Uh, so I'd like to give you a little bit of background into the process that led us to this point today. Uh, we formed, uh, after the announcement of Arsene moving on, we formed a three-person committee led by me and supported by Sven Mislintat, our head of recruitment, and Raul Sanlehi, our head of football relations. Uh, we had some clear criteria that we were looking for in our selection. Uh, the first was progressive, entertaining football, uh, a personality that fit with Arsenal's values, and also a record of developing players, in particular young players, through detailed tactical instruction, and also through uh, cultural uh, demands, pushing players, demanding more from them. We looked through uh, and analyzed, uh, obviously all good football clubs have a, a, an ongoing review process, but uh, we looked through and analyzed um, on the basis that every coach in the world would be interested in this position. We don't believe that there is a position in world football that is more attractive than that at Arsenal Football Club. And having gone through that process and series of references and a, a good degree of analysis, we created a long list, uh, an eight-person uh, list. Uh, all of those eight people that we approached, uh, that we targeted, were interested in the position. All of those eight people took part in extensive in-person interviews with the three of us. And none of them at any stage withdrew their interest. They were interested right until the moment that we informed them of our decision. So we were in a fortunate position in this process to be able to make our first choice. And that's what we did. Our first interview was conducted on the 25th of April. Our last interview was conducted on the 15th of May, and we interviewed Unai on the 10th of May as a part of that process. We made our recommendation to the board on the 18th of May. That was a unanimous recommendation uh, by the three of us. And the, recommenda the formal recommendation to the board was supported by a 100-page dossier with references, analysis, uh, videos showing their coaching in action, and a great degree of background information. We then met with London members of our board on Monday of this week. Uh, Unai and I and Raul flew to Atlanta on Monday evening. We met in Atlanta with Stan and Josh Kroenke, and Unai spent some time with them. We flew back on the red eye last night, so we're a little bit worse for wear. Uh, but all of the board members were energized and enthusiastic about the recommendation and enthusiastically endorsed the recommendation. So why Unai Emery? Uh, I followed Unai's career very closely since his days at Valencia, and he's always been on my radar screen. Has a fantastic record of success wherever he's gone. And interestingly, one of the noteworthy things about Unai's team is that they improve over time. I, we also felt, and I felt for, for some time, that he's a super, superb fit with the criteria that I laid out. Um, but I think it's very important to move this beyond the paper exercise, and that's why, having taken third-person references uh, from some, some of the most respected people in the game and people that we trust, it was very important for us to move to personal meetings. And it was in the personal meeting that Unai was incredibly impressive. He came in extraordinarily well prepared with a detailed knowledge of Arsenal Football Club. He had an analysis to share with us, not just of the, his ways of working, his ways of coaching, the team of people that he works with, um, but he had an analysis of all of our individual players, their qualities, 
and how he believes he can help them to develop individually and collectively in detail. Uh, and also an in-depth knowledge of our off-the-field team and how they could contribute and how UNAI's team would mesh with them productively. But this wasn't a purely technical exercise. I think the thing that distinguished UNAI above all of that, above all the process, above all of the things that you can read about him, was the chemistry between us and the feeling for football in the room. Unai has an energy and a passion, a competitive energy, um, and it's this combination of detail, hard work, passion, and a love for football and a win, will to win that made us feel that this fit was exactly right for Arsenal and exactly right for the people that we have working at the club. And it's for all of those reasons and following all of that extensive process that I'm proud and delighted to introduce you today to Unai Emery. Unai. Good afternoon, everybody. All uh, to be here with me, with us. Also, thank you, Cronky family. We, we traveled to Atlanta for a meeting with uh, with Kronky family, and uh, for me it's a very good uh, meeting, very good conversation uh, with uh, with him, with his son, and uh, all the connection uh, together for for this project. Thank you also, the chairman, the board. We had a meeting uh, yesterday, uh, Monday morning with them, and also I feel they feel with the, the heart uh, arsenal, and the conversation with, uh, with uh, the chairman, the board, is uh, very important for me for for no better Arsenal club. And also, thank you, Ivan. Thank you, Raul, and thank you, Sven. The first meeting with uh, Arsenal personnel, the people, are with, uh, with the three persons who, after three hours, I think, uh, very good feeling for we'll work together and for we'll grow up, create a new present and future arsenal. Thank you, Arsene Wenger, for your legacy. For all the coach in all the world is a reference and uh, we learned, I learned, learned with him all the things in football. My, my English is not uh, very best uh, now and uh, I want make an effort for uh, speak with you to the supporter for explain my idea, for explain my ambition, for explain no, I am very excited for this opportunity, a big club, a great city a grand stadium, and also a great player for, for this work. Thank you. Thank you, Ivan. Thanks, Unai. So if you just put your hand up, I'll come to you in a normal way. Ian, do you want to start? Sure. Unai, my name is Ian Bolton. I work for Sky Sports. How big a challenge is this? 
for you. It's a great challenge, but uh, in my career, every year, I grow up with a new challenge. And for me, the challenge is a dream. Came true. What are your sorry, your, <laughs> what are your immediate priorities and what are your targets? Now know you. And uh, all the conversation, all the meeting with uh, with Ivan, with the uh, people who work here is very important for give me all the information for the club and uh, after I want to know how we will grow up this this team, this squad. I know all the player, I think all the player is very important uh, and uh, all the player for me is I think I want will be with uh, with them this uh, this way, but I want to speak to will really speak individually with uh, all the player and. Uh, speak with uh, with uh, them face to face David? in terms of your sorry just just finally for me then in terms of your squad can you tell us whether Jack Wilshire is part of your thinking he's currently out of contract I want today speak the team globally. I don't want to speak individually the, the player today, because uh, all the meeting with uh, with Ivan, with uh, with uh, Raúl, with uh, Sven, is uh, this team is a big team, a big player, a great player, and we think we need uh, change. A little, a little thing, a little player. Today, I want to work uh, and want to speak uh, globally for uh, for the squad. Amy Lewis from ITV. Just two questions for me, please. You mentioned Arsene Wenger. How hard an act is Wenger to follow? It's a big challenge for 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 me, but uh, I work it uh, also with uh, with uh, other project, a big project, and with me. For me, uh, is uh, I am proud to be here and to work after Arsene Wenger. Sell yourself to the board, and how passionately did you fight for this job? Can you just say that again? How passionately did you fight for this job? And how did you sell yourself to the board? I think uh, all the meeting with uh, with the people uh, and with uh, with Ivan, with Raúl, with uh, with Ben, the first uh, meeting. For me, very important is was this moment the connection. Uh, speak, spoke in this moment about uh, how uh, they want and I want uh, to be one work. This responsibility here with uh, at this club, this club together, and to know 
uh, my ambition to know, uh, my passion uh, to know uh, how uh, I want to grow up. My project individually with uh, the project uh, Arsenal is, was a, a, a big, a great responsibility. But uh, I think this feeling is very important together and after sure uh, my career with a, with a, a one experience a big club also for for them is important and uh, for me all the conversation is a very good conversation with with the, the same idea the same uh, way for make in the present and in, for the future. Unai, David Ornstein from the BBC. Um, you're obviously unproven in English football. Um, what are your targets here? Uh, what do you expect to achieve? And do you need to spend a lot of money in the transfer market to achieve it? I believe uh, the player who who are here. Uh, I think we can grow up uh, with uh, this player, and uh, the objective is uh, together for for work hard for with this talent, the player work and uh, all the title who will be in in the next season or in the future to be a candidate for uh, for challenge the the all the, the title then it's very important for the club uh, after two years outside the Champions League, work for this, this way for a life and for to be in the best club, the best team in Premier and also in the world. Ivan, um, you talked about um, a manager who needed to extract more from these players and push them harder, and you also said that this is the most attractive job in world football, but it's a team that finished sixth in the Premier League and is out of the Champions League. So how big a rebuilding job is this for Unai Emery? I don't think I said push harder, David. I think what I said is push hard. I think all of our... Uh, our, our players, uh, we believe, um, uh, will respond to the new energy that Unai brings. Um, I think they will have somebody under whom they can improve their individual games and our collective game. Um, and I think if they embrace those challenges, then the players that we have today can be more successful in the future. I don't think anybody believes that uh, sixth place is a place that a club of the stature of Arsenal Football Club should be. So we need to look to improve that. Um, how big of a rebuilding job that is, is a discussion that we've started with Unai, obviously, and a discussion that will continue. But clearly the ambition is to get back to what Unai just said, which is to be in a position where we're a candidate to win the biggest trophies in England and the biggest trophies across Europe. But we've got to understand that you know, that's not going to be just done in one leap. That's going to be the result of focus, hard work, discipline, energy, commitment, will to win. And that's what, we need to, uh, that's what we need to have our players embrace. And I believe that they will. I believe that they will embrace it. And I certainly uh, strongly believe that our fans, when they see the energy that Unai can bring uh, 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 with his qualities, uh, to the club um, will embrace that as well. The challenge we have is very big. 
Um, I've always said it's the biggest challenge this club will face to transition from one of the giants of the game in Arsene Wenger, um, and I maintain that. So this is not an easy process. We spent a lot of time building towards this moment. It's not just about the last uh, month, six weeks of process around identifying and recruiting Unai. Um, it's really been an ongoing process for a number of years, building up the capabilities of the club from the facilities to what we do with strength and conditioning, fitness, medical, psychology, analytics, scouting, um, all of these different support services. And this year, obviously, with the addition of um, Sven Mislintat as our head of recruitment and Raul Sandlehi as head of football relations, we are um, working in a different way than we worked in the past. It's going to be more of a team effort, supporting Unai's vision, supporting his energy, finding ways that we can help him to be successful and through him, the club. Was it too individual in the past? You, you've spoken very effusively about Unai and said how long you've tracked him for and he's been given the position of head coach. Uh, would you have liked to have done this earlier if you could have? No, I, I don't say that, David. I, I'm not looking backwards now. This is a moment where um, you know, we, we're turning a page, we're opening a new chapter in the history book of Arsenal. Um, we're doing it in a new way, it's true, but that doesn't mean I'm critical of the way things have been done. Um, you, you know, our, our history under Arsene is um, absolutely fantastic, and I, I think uh, you're never going to hear me be critical of what's gone before. Um, but this is a new opportunity, and we have to embrace it. Now, as a football club, our very first motto in 1886 was forward, and now it's time for us to look forward and to do it with confidence, and I do believe that this is um, a fantastic football club. We've seen that uh, through this process. The number and the quality of people that were interested in trying to get this position uh, because they understand what a special place this is. And I be believe that to the core of my soul. There's a special feeling here. And we need to recapture that and get on the same page and push this club forward and get behind Unai and what he can do for this team. And I think if we do that, um, there's no limit to what we can achieve. Just finally from me, what is the situation with uh, the budget? Will Unai Emre have significant funds to spend? We don't, we don't discuss our budgets publicly, as you know, David, but we are a public company. So if any of you want to have a look at our accounts, they're out there, and it's not, it's not that difficult, actually, to see. You know, we run ourselves on a very um, uh, clear and transparent model, which is um, self-sustaining, um, and that's the way we will continue to run ourselves. So anyone that wants to look at that should, should look at our, our accounts. And so all of that public money would be available to... Him. All the money has always been available for, for our manager, um, and they'll continue to be... All of the resources of the club will be available for Unai to develop the team. That's Unai, Ian Payne from ITV News. Welcome to England. How would you describe your style of football? And also, if I may ask, how do we pronounce your name properly? <laughs> Unai Emery. Well, in my career, I am very demanding myself for, for all. And I want near people and person who, who is demanding also. And the player demanding also. And my idea is to be protagonist all the match. We play against all the team with a, this personality, with, I think, the history here is one team. They love, he lo it love, play with a possession of the ball. I like this personality. I like this protagonist with uh, a ball. And uh, when you don't this possession of the ball, I want uh, a squad very, very intensive for the pressing. It's two things 
for me, very important for to be protagonist. Position the ball and pressing when uh, uh, when you don't the ball. What was it that most attracted you to this project here? Did you have any offers from Spanish teams? But was Arsenal's offers the most attractive? And what would be success for you uh, at the end of next season? Would returning to the Champions League be success? Buenas tardes. Para mí, he tenido tres reuniones well, I had three personal, fantastic meetings a nivel de con quién in terms of uh, who was at those meetings. Con, Firstly, con Ivan, I met with Raúl, Ivan, Sven, with Raúl and Sven. Los tres que, que pensaron they analyzed myself as a person and a coach and they thought that I could be an option for this team. I have to say that after a three-hour meeting, there was fantastic chemistry between us. Of course, to be honest, that chemistry came simply from the fact that it was Arsenal because they have a wonderful history and I hoped that there could be a new future for the club. The second meeting was with the, the chairman, the owners. They're the heart of the club and they transmitted what uh, the, the fans wanted. I really felt a positive energy in terms of uh, what they felt about Arsenal. My third meeting was with the owner in Atlanta. And again there we had a, a fantastic feeling in terms of the way we spoke to each other about the project. I think every uh, step leading up to today has been very positive in terms of what I want after Spain and France, in terms of Arsenal, in terms of the challenge of coming to Arsenal. It's uh, something that makes me very proud and it's a great opportunity for me to grow. And what would be success for you this season? Developing. But how do you develop? And I think that's about battling for every title. Uh, that's something that's in Arsenal's history, it's in my history as well, and I want that to continue. Our objective is to be among the best teams in Europe, so those are the two objectives, to win titles and be among the elite of European teams. I also want the team to make the fans proud of the side. I know they are already, but I want them to be even more so. He has a trophy, but he's missing for the Champions League and the Premier League. What is your plan to bring the trophy of the Champions League and the Premier League to Arsenal? We want to uh, start and, uh, and work for, uh, for to improve uh, individually and the collective all, uh, all we can. And uh, all the titles are important for, for us. Uh, we, I think we can and we want uh, to be candidate for, for them. And I don't promise today we will win, but I can promise you we will work hard, we will work together, we will work with a, a transmit emotion, with a transmit uh, demanding for, for we'll find uh, all the objective. Last couple, Carrie. Carrie Brown, beautiful. Hello, Emma. Hello. 
Espanol, por favor. I will ask in English. Um, <coughs> could you talk to me about Meza Erzul? He's the top star here at Arsenal. His brilliance, though, has been measured by his absence. What do you think of him as a player, and is there more to come? Español. Es uno de los grandes talentos del Arsenal. He's one of the biggest talents here at Arsenal, and I want talented players here. I want to spend time with him, with all of the players. I want to speak with them on a level. I want to speak to them about uh, how inspired and excited I am to be here. And I want the players to feel that as well. Above all, I think this is a, a wonderful project and we all need to give 100%. That's what I'm looking for from every player and from myself. Pep Guardiola said today that your record speaks for itself on your appointment here. You're yet to beat Jose Mourinho and Pep Guardiola. Are you relishing changing that record? And have you spoken to any Premier League managers about the challenge here? Pienso en presente futuro. I'm thinking about the present and the future. In terms of my past experience, that makes me feel stronger. And it also allows me to have a guide in terms of my future trajectory. I'm very excited to be here, very excited to compete against some top coaches. I'm very excited to play against some top teams. And I have to say that the Premier League right now is, is right at the top. Everyone wants to be in the best leagues. I speak with a lot of coaches. Those are private conversations. But now that I'm here, all information is welcome. Thank you. If you like that, check this out. <laughs>